We're Beeston in Bloom, we're a local community gardening group in the area and we've been having plant sales, this is about our fourth plant sale, we started doing them last year. We're hoping to encourage people to garden to make Beeston beautiful. We want people to have the opportunity to buy plants even if they haven't got a lot of money so that's why they're all so cheap and you must admit they are cheap. <laughs> I'm going to put this in and when it gets bigger I'm going to plant it in a bigger pot and when the summertime comes when it's really hot I'm going to plant it in my garden. <laughs> Yes, I enjoy this to enjoy. I think it's lovely. Right, I'm going to show you how to make the mosaic now. It's really easy and simple to do. Yeah, that's what you doing. Oh, yeah, you're making the letter S there. That's good. Very good. Because it's going to say, Welcome to Cross Flat Spark, Happy Millennium. Everybody present has done enormous amounts of work. This young lady designed it and it will give me great pleasure to officially open it all. Ready? Cut the ribbon. Yay. I've lived here since 1940 in the house that was formerly my grandparents and then my parents and then I took it over. These are quite nice old properties really, but a lot of them have gone into multiple occupation. So, by getting people to improve their own gardens, uh, little by little, I think we are uplifting the neighbourhood. The hanging basket was provided by uh, Beeson and Bloom who came round last year and they fixed the bracket to the wall and gave us the hanging basket with compost and some plants in as well. What we're doing this morning is we're tidying up the Millennium Garden which is one of our projects which we, we've reclaimed from neglected land uh, over the last five years. It's uh, non-stop maintenance work. Together with Grand Work, the Beeston United Free Church created the Mulvern Community Garden. The funding for that we managed to eke out for about two years. In all honesty, I think I would have probably stopped coming by now if it hadn't been for the support that I've had through from the Beeston in Bloom group. And it means that, say, this academic year, I've had over 200 children come gardening here from one of the local primary schools. And they love it, they absolutely love it. And for a lot of them, it's the only chance they get to have any hands-on gardening experience because a lot of them don't have gardens. Fingers crossed, Tuesday evening will be nice and dry. Hopefully, weather permitting, we should have the boys' brigade here. Usually we get about 15, 20 people, ranging from some quite small ones up to their granddads. So that's quite nice. From a tiny group of enthusiasts back in the 1990s, Beeston in Bloom now attracts support from people and organisations throughout the area. In 2007, Beeston has been chosen to represent Yorkshire in the urban communities section of Britain in Bloom. I think now it's nice. Now it's much more clean. It looks like it's being careful, doesn't it? You know, there's a lot of effort going in. Beeston seems to be on the up. <laughs> <laughs>